very uh, good contributions to this topic, which uh, you know started to be an interesting topic for neurology since the discovery of this we call parasomnia, disturbance of behavior during uh, um, rapid eye movement sleep. And uh, the speakers actually summarized the recent evidence pointing to one, uh, the need of a precise diagnosis of friend sleep behavior disorders, so what uh, we should ask and how we make the diagnosis based on history, but also sometimes on the need of doing sleep studies in patients that may have this disturbance. At the same time, the importance of um, you know, diagnosing RBD uh, REM sleep behavior disorder, uh, I would insist maybe on the importance in the so-called idiopathic situation. So when uh, RBD is isolated uh, and um, we have learned about, you know, um, the recent data telling us about, um, you know, the risk uh, that the presence of RBD um, um, implies for uh, the patient that has this disturbance, this incredibly increased risk for the later development of dementia and Parkinsonism. And then some issues about how to predict the future and what, uh, you know, in terms of the evolution rapidly or less rapidly towards one of these diseases. And then also some issues about, you know, from new frontiers in understanding the neurobiology and some hope that in the near future, you know, the uh, early uh, and precise diagnosis of RBD may uh, become also a, a window of opportunity to start treatment of neurodegenerative diseases in an early stage, um, you know, preventing then uh, they develop into, you know, a, a severe dementia or Parkinson's syndrome.